Spending an afternoon in Dennis Grove's house is like being at the zoo, except none of the animals are moving, and your host single-handedly brought each animal to life. A 74-year-old retired brewery worker who has been bitten 22 times by dangerous snakes, Groves now spends seven days a week making replicas of all sorts of animals, from prehistoric 15-meter-long sharks to giant-sized insects. And he has turned his house into a trophy room for his lifelong hobby of taxidermy. I just caught my first snake at the age of seven. And uh, ever since then, I've always kept and collected snakes. And uh, in 1961, I became the first curator of the Transvaal Snake Park that started at Halfway House. And uh, I became the most snake bitten man in the country, which still am. And um, I had 22 dangerous bites. I uh, lost both index fingers and uh, the first joint on that finger and then bits and pieces of bark here and there from the bites. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things. It's an it's, uh, occupational hazard. And I've, I've never sort of waned from the snakes. I've always kept them. And then, of course, being a taxidermist and a molder, in 1961 I started doing replicas of the specimens. Um, this fiberglass is something that lasts permanently. And uh, then over the years I've built up a, a big collection, which is the country's biggest private collection of the reptiles and fish. After a year of work, Groves has just completed his most challenging project yet, an exact fiberglass replica of the world's longest recorded snake. Shot by an engineer in Indonesia in 1912, the record-holding reticulated python was more than 10 meters long. The reason why I decided to build this thing because, as I've mentioned to many people, you know, people always say, you know, what is the longest snake that you get? And if I tell them I oh, know the record is 10 meters, then that becomes just a figure in their head. They, they can't see what the animal looks like. So I decided oh, I want to reconstruct it so they could see. And of course, it's taken a full year to do. And uh, I had to collect a lot of information. And this was from various uh, snake experts and guys that owned live reticulated pythons. Grove started out as a snake enthusiast 47 years ago as the first curator of the Transvaal Snake Park. Now, hundreds of snake bites later, he holds the record for receiving the most snake bites of any man in South Africa. Even though he's lost two and a half fingers because of bites from his venomous friends, Grove still keeps, and breeds, at least 15 live snakes in his house. And this one, I was treating it, it had a stomach ailment. I was holding it behind the neck with one hand, and I had its mouth wide open, and I was going to put a pipe into its mouth. And as my hand got near its mouth, it lifted one fang and it smacked it into the ball of my finger. And, and honestly, it seemed almost as though it was in slow motion, because he, he pulled my finger into his mouth and lifted the other fang and smacked it down. It went right through. That passed right through here, the second thing. But it was the one that went into the ball of the finger that caused the damage. And then the hand swelled and my arm swelled and the whole side blew up. <laughs> Groves has several more snake projects in the works now, including a display of the world's dozen deadliest snakes, one of which he's been bitten by. His newest idea for a project is to replicate the world's heaviest snake, an anaconda that weighed in at more than 272 kilograms. Now you know, um, the anaconda doesn't reach quite the same length as the reticulated python, but it gets heavier in girth. And therefore that makes anaconda the overall largest snake in the world. And um, it would be interesting to have the anaconda line next to this reticulated, especially the, the record anaconda line next to this record reticulated python. But Groves makes replicas of much more than just snakes a great white shark that he constructed after piecing together slices of its body that arrived on his doorstep, the largest lizard ever found in South Africa, still with its real skin attached, famous Max the Gorilla's footprints, a lifelike werewolf and a blue-faced witch, even the terrifying giant spider that scared Johannesburg residents in the city's big 1993 April Fool's joke. Grove says his collection is too big to count. He is well known by local museums and zoos, which often buy or commission his animal replicas for up to 25,000 rand. But most of his creations line the walls and floors of his home, 
where he has Halloween parties so that his 10 grandkids and three great grandkids get to have some fun with all his work. So how long do you think you're going to keep making models like this? Uh, until I die. <laughs> the, I've often said to a lot of uh, my friends that I've got so many projects, I'll have to live to be about 200 years old to finish the things. 